pick that up. I would say to give the devil his due, if that's the way we would understand him. I'd say that he is so wise, if he is wise, because he was the first one to see the implication of God's death. He was the one that said, yes, our culture has killed God, and we must face up to that. It may well be the case that insofar as he is a wise man, that his wisdom lies there. The question of why I write such good books, I think that is relatively accessible. The reason why Nietzsche writes such, such good books is he, had, he has mastered the art of oxymoron. The Nietzschean oxymoron is the modern Socratic analog, or the modern analog of Socratic irony. It is the skeleton key to all of Nietzsche's works. And when you go back and look through it, if you constantly look at the paradoxical passages and realizing that oxymoron is not the problem, it's the solution, then you will be able to appreciate Nietzsche in a way that perhaps will not drive you crazy as it did me in the earlier part of my life. And I'll close with the final question. Why I am a destiny. I believe that Friedrich Nietzsche was a destiny because he was the first person to be willing to face squarely the implications of the rise of modern natural science. The physical world of space and time is real, like it or not. We must find some way of making our moral intuitions and our religious commitments consistent with the best of our rational activities. Any attempt to abdicate our responsibility to our rational faculties is ultimately doomed to failure. And because Darwin is real, and because our best understanding of the biological history of the world is through natural selection, we are forced to face the fact that science is here to stay. And the reason why he is a destiny is because he was the first man to squarely state that science and religion have to be melded into something that we can all participate in. If we have to sacrifice one or the other, we can do that. But the point is that science pre presents a challenge to Western religion that cannot be met by any sort of minor repair. You are going to have to make a radical either or sort of choice, and Nietzsche forces us to that. I think that if he had not done that for us, someone else would have. And for that reason, I feel that Nietzsche is correct in seeing himself as a destiny, because it is the destiny of the West to be forced to confront their rational capacities.